The other night I go to dinner with some friends. This is a group of us that have been trying to coordinate a time where we could all get together for a while now. You'd think with how hard it's been for us to meet and make our schedules match that everybody would be really excited, right? Excited and happy to get together. At least I did. I thought I was. I thought we were. But we all sit down at the table and this, I couldn't believe this. Actually, I couldn't believe it. Everybody sits down and what happens is all the cell phones come out and they get laid down on the table. Everybody's got their cell phone in front of their respective place. So we got fork, we got spoon, we got napkin, we got glass of water, we got cell phone. Wait a minute, are we hanging out with our phones here or not? And then it starts. Conversation gets going a little bit, but somebody breaks it off because a text message comes in. So the other person, they check out and they're right to here. Well, as soon as that person starts going to here, what does everybody else do at the table? They have to reach down and check their phone because they could have missed something. This is myself included. I've noticed myself doing this a lot, right? There's nothing there. Put our phones down. A couple minutes goes by, conversation, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's great. It's awesome. Wow, I can't believe that. Whoa, ding, 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 ding. Hold on a second. This is the best part. So they're here, text, text, texting. Everybody else, of course, has now gone to their phone, checking it, seeing if anything else has come in the last three minutes. Even though they haven't heard the noise go off, right? We all have noises. We all have alerts on our phone. We don't see the little light flashing. So we know nothing's come in, but we still have to check our phone. So this person's doing that, and they set it down. They go, gosh, I can't stand that person. Blah, 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 right? So then everybody else starts going, oh, yeah, that person, blah, 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 blah. Ding! Oh, it's the same person I can't stand. I got to send her a message. I got to send him a message right now. Oh, I really just, this person just makes me so upset and angry. And here I am hanging out with the people I really want to hang out with. But, oh, I got to pay all this attention to this person now. Anyways, the hour that we have to hang out, it goes on like that forever. And eventually, every parts ways and they say, oh, we should do this again sometime. But the thing is, is was there really a connection there? Did we really get the quality time we were after? How could we? Nobody was really present. Nobody was really attentive and nobody was really connecting with the other people because they're so connected to their cellular devices, aka our cell phones, aka the other part of us. I was reading a study not too long ago and it was talking about how people who do things like search the internet solitarily, spend a lot of time on the phones solitarily, they develop a higher incidence of depression, a higher incidence of disconnectedness from the society and more prone to other antisocial diseases, causes, whatever you want to call it. And the ironic part is, is so all this technology we have, right, is designed to make us feel more connected, to be able to reach out across the world and touch somebody, which is great. I'm able to interact with all of you from all over the world because of technology. But what it's also doing is it's killing the relationships that are right in front of us. It's taking away our ability to be present because we're spending so much time checking Facebook statuses and staying in tune to the lives of other people that we're missing out on what's going on in the world around us. How many of you, how many of you show of hands, because I can see everybody's hands going right now, right? Know more about what's going on because of the gossip columns in the magazines of the latest celebrity trend this or who got in a car accident or how many times Lindsay Lohan skipped jail? How many of you know more about that? than what's going on in the lives of your closest friends and family members. Right? We have all these up-to-date informations. We stay glued to the TV because there's this tragedy. There's this, there's this catastrophe going on right now, right? What is it? If it bleeds, it leads. And if it leads and it's bleeding, we want to be glued into it. We want to be focused in on it. But as soon as we start focusing on that, we miss everything that's around us in our life. The stuff that's most important. The people that really matter most. The things that make up the fabric of our lives. And then we go home at the end of the day and we kick our feet up to turn on the news and we wonder, why am I not happy? Why don't I feel fulfilled? Because we're not being present in our own life. We go back to the challenge day we had a few weeks ago where we did 12-12-12 day, right? Again, the point of it was just to take that moment. To stop whatever you were doing and just be aware of what's going on in the world around you that day. You know, challenge yourself that. Challenge yourself. We're on the cusp of a new year. 2013 is just around the corner. Challenge yourself to have this year be more present. What's more present for you? Define it. Make it clear. I'm not going to use my cell phone all the time. I'm going to have my phone turn off from the hours of da da When I go out to eat with some friends, my phone does not come out of my pocket. Maybe it doesn't even come out of the car. I just leave in the car. 
because I want to focus on connecting with people more. Connecting with the people who are, matter the most in my life. All of us lead busy lives and life and world is just, time's going to keep moving quicker and quicker. The world is going to go, time's going to pass like this. Who knows when tomorrow is going to not come. But what we have control over right now is that ability to be present in the present. The ability to really connect with people. Human beings were, were social creatures, right? We're not meant to live our life like this. So I, I encourage you all. If I was to encourage you to challenge one thing, I encourage you to challenge yourself to do this. Challenge yourself to be more present this coming year.